The apricot tree, also referred to as a fruitful alliance, is an eco fairy tale for all times, especially ours. It is a story about a small group of people who have come together to regain the control as well as to save their environments for a better cause. I did a painting of a giraffe, it's not on the show. And from the painting, I did another painting. Uh, it was this one here. And then I came up with the idea, why not, write a, why not do a book? So then once the idea was beginning and expressed to the director and other people in the studio, we all collaborated together. And I did the illustrations. And we all had ideas about what would be shown and what wouldn't be. And we built a storyline from that. And the person who wrote the story was Shannon and I, the other artist, seated those pictures and I wrote a story to go with them. It turned out to be a funny fairy tale. So we thought, why not try and publish it and see if we could sell it? And that's how, very simple, how it came to be. The Apricot Tree is a story that Shannon and Claudia wrote together. It's a traditional fairy tale where the animals are living peacefully in the kingdom. Suddenly, their peaceable kingdom is threatened by an evil witch named Wilhelmina. But at the last minute, she's saved by Giselle the gazelle, who has lightning rods coming out of her horns. And it turns the evil Wilhelmina into a beautiful princess called Gaia, which means Earth. And the Earth Gaia princess and all the creatures of the kingdom and all the people come back together, the apricot tree is saved, and the kingdom is saved. This is very different from the others. The artists have a mission, the, the, the organization that hosts the artists have a broader mission for connecting arts with mental health. Well, there's just a whole community of support behind them that comes also with this exhibit. Educating the Tacoma Park community that there is such a place as creates art center where people can come and create art and get some recognition and perhaps sell some art and some books. I grew up on a farm when I was a little kid, had a lot of different animals, decided to do a painting of the giraffe and then it just led on to other animals and I've drawn animals before. They're a big part of my uh, artwork. I want to say all of my artwork but it's a big part of it and it's just fun to do. I like um, doing pictures that are expressive about what I'm feeling. A lot of them have to do with the illness I have, schizophrenia. I don't like this one. Like I didn't, you know, with the eyes, you know, like paranoid thoughts and stuff. Shannon and Claudia are always painting, and Claudia is always writing. They also share the fact that their art has been their salvation. It is literally kept their voices away from them and, their, and it has calmed their symptoms greatly. And the work that comes out of them is just increasingly more imaginative and free. Their art and their friendship really helps them connect to each other, to the world. It makes them laugh, it makes them happy, and it, now it's bringing pleasure to other people, which is a great joy for all of them. I am happy for the turnout. Those who are coming to watch and see the artwork, I hope they get here and I hope they enjoy themselves a whole lot. I hope all the artwork. I hope it makes, it makes their day a better day because they came to see what was going on.